There's a lot out there to discover. The world is epic and it's huge. And all you have to do is, is make a small effort and you can really go so far. The second I step off the plane when I come home to North Carolina, I love the smell of the pine trees in the air. I love the smell of the crispness. It's, it's this palpable energy and, and feeling that I get every time I come home. Just being back at the place that, you know, where I started everything. It's just home. When I was growing up in North Carolina, there were not many opportunities here. I mean, as far as opera goes, there were zero, really. Um, I did fulfill some of my, you know, singing talent with uh, choirs and, and, and whatnot uh, that was all sort of state-sponsored, but really there wasn't much, uh, there just wasn't an, the opportunity to really uh, move forward in any genuine way in the field of opera. I didn't really fall in love with opera until I left the state of North Carolina. And when I left, it, it changed everything for me. Since then, I've now been to 36 plus countries and this is all because of my art and my career in opera and without it I, I, I just, I'd be a totally different person. But once you go and experience other cultures and other, other places, other ethnicities, it's, it's really, it's just the most educational experience you can have. I used to work here. I used to cook hot dogs and hamburgers and stuff in the back. And now I get to be the owner of this place. After he worked here, all three of his other siblings yeah. worked here as well. Both my sisters and my brother all worked here. A small town stuff, man. I love it. Yeah, me too. I'm really happy to be able to come here to North Carolina and, and give back uh, some of the things that I've learned in my many years away. I feel very nostalgic when I come home. Also, I, I feel like I'm back where it all started. I'm back where I started as a person. And I started learning a lot about myself here. I really wish that I had someone that, that was like me when I was younger to come and, and, and speak to them or to perform for them and that could uh, sort of at least show me what it actually is, that opera is, what, it, what classical music is. Because I never had that. I wish I could have seen an opera in North Carolina because I, I never had that. I couldn't help but chase the dream that I chased until as, as far as I could go with it. And I still feel like I'm chasing it in a lot of ways. I, I really, I don't have a gimmick. I just love to sing. I have a need to perform. I really do. I, I have this inner desire. It's more than a desire. It's like a burning desire to be on stage and to sing and to perform with my voice. I couldn't give it up if I wanted to. I love expressing myself through my body and through my voice. I love the feeling of, of just putting it all out there on any given night and, and giving, giving myself to the audience in a way that's very intimate and emotional and, and powerful both as a as a character and as a as a musician for me to perform it's just unabashed joy when i walk on stage i just love it it's one of my favorite things to do i don't get that feeling from anything else in my life i mean i guess it's the it's the feeling that anyone gets when they're doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing with their lives you know, I, I get out there and it just feels amazing to be able to ride a musical wave, a dramatic wave, an emotional wave to its fulfillment. And whenever I end the night, I always feel like I've just done something important. And I guess that's all anyone can